Uh, I've been uh, wondering lately wh why is it that I'm that I'm struggling so much when it comes to having a relationship with uh, uh, God through His uh, Son Jesus Christ, and, and why is it that I refuse to go to heaven? What's going on? On the inside, why is it that I, I reject uh, Jesus so much? What happened? I mean, I'm a Christian man. I, I, I read my Bible mostly every every I, I would say every single day. However, I wouldn't drink a beer with uh, Jesus. I wouldn't. I wouldn't uh, have a cup of coffee with him. I wouldn't go for a stroll, for a walk with him. I don't even want to listen to what he has to say regarding eternal life, how he created the world, or why he created me, the reason behind my existence. I, I just don't want to know. And he's got all the answers. He said, I am the Alpha and the Omega, just el principio y el fin. And I still don't even care. He said, Yo soy el camino y la vida. Nadie llega al Padre si no es por mí. I'm the way and the life. Nobody comes through the Father if it is not through me. To the Father if it is not through me. Everything is going to be gone, but not my words. That's it. That's my translation from English to Spanish. Todo pasará menos mis palabras. Mateo 24, 35. But I still don't want to spend eternity with him. Which, which uh, leads me to uh, the conclusion that, uh, that eventually it's going to be a miserable, miserable eternal life. And then he comes up to me and he talks to me. He talks to me when, we, when, when I pray, okay? When I pray, I talk to him. And I know he's listening to me. I know he's paying attention to my words. And he knows my heart. I've been helping uh, missionaries since since I was uh, since I was in my twenties in college. I, I mean, I mean, really helping missionaries, okay? Really, with with real money and, and money that I that I eventually needed for myself. But I thought it was it, it was going to be a much better investment. And I still do. Uh, and I and I believe that I was a great investment. But if if I was investing into eternal life, then okay, some people, a lot of people got saved, okay, but they got saved and I got saved, and I don't want to go to that place. I don't want to spend eternity with uh, Jesus. I don't want to be with him and he would assign me a responsibility, Miguel, this is what you're going to do. I don't want to be praising him like the, those 24 elderly people that are praising him. I don't want to be surrounded by angels. I don't like angels to begin with. So it's, it seems like I'm forced to spend eternity with a, 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 a person that I don't feel, I don't feel like attached, okay? No. But this is a problem. This is a problem. When I pray, he talks to me. And when he talks to you, when he talks to you, believe me, he will let you know he will give you the wisdom that you need to understand what's what's going on. He said that if he would lose one sheep out of a hundred, he would leave ninety-nine and go forward and rescue you, 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 you that are lost. He would leave ninety-nine that are safe and have been saved and pursue you, and pursue you, and pursue you, 
And if he's gonna pursue me, 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 that I don't even wanna spend time with him in heaven. I like praying, I'm very grateful for what he has done in my life. But if he would pursue me, if I get lost, then it's because he really loves me. He, his love is so big, so huge, that we don't understand. I don't understand the love of Christ for me, for you, for 7.7 .7 billion people on planet Earth. Why would he love me that much if I'm a piece of, you know what? So I'm, not, I'm in trouble, I'm in trouble because as much as I do believe in him, as much as I'm a Christian man, uh, I'm Catholic, but uh, very, very familiar with uh, the Protestant evangelical, uh, which I, I relate to because I, I believe in them, okay? I believe that they they have the, the, the real Word of God, okay? Or understanding, understanding of the Word of God. So he loves me. And it's a, it's a love that, uh, that you cannot measure. It's an unsurmountable, unsur unsurmountable love. It's an eternal love. So I'm in trouble because I have to make a decision. He's asking me, Miguel, uh, what, what do we do now? because you don't want to spend eternity with me and you're safe I don't want to come to the point that the day you show up and you stand right before me I don't want to have to tell you sorry but I cannot let you in that you're gonna tell me I don't even know who you are yes you will tell me I know who you are Miguel I know I know you I created you I was with you when you were reading my words mostly John 12 47 I came for the ones who were lost I came for the ones who were lost most of you don't understand that you believe that you're safe because you're good, doing good deeds and you're fulfilling a sinless life. You're safe because He gave everything to you. He went to the cross and died for you. He did the work, not you. He did the work for me. I know that I'm safe. I know, but I just don't want to spend eternity with him. I don't want to. I refuse. I refuse. But then he, he comes up to me and he says, I'm sorry, but I'm not letting you go. I'm a, I, I still want to rescue you. So now, I don't know what to say. He loved me so much. That as much as I say, I say, I don't want to be with you. And I'm afraid that that might be, that might be the sin against, against the Holy Spirit. When you refuse Him, when you say, when you reject Him, when you, when you claim, I don't want to be with you, that might be the sin against the Holy Spirit. When even though He's saving you, He's opening the doors of heaven, you just answer, no. I don't want to be with you. Leave me alone. Yeah, I don't want to go to hell either. That would be horrible. Not a chance. I'm, I'm pretty sure that I, there are crocodiles in, in hell. And I'm really scared of crocodiles. So I don't want to go to hell. And then what's going to... Okay, I just want to disappear. Be gone forever. It hasn't been a, an easy life. My life is easy now. But it was not in the past. So what do I do? I can't stop praising the Lord. I'm always praising Him, singing. El tierno amor de Jesús nunca cambia. 
Sus misericordias nunca tiene. Tu fidelidad es grande. Tu fidelidad incomparable es tu Be the glory to God. I'm always singing, always praising Him. Every single day, I'm always praying. So I want to be with Him while I'm on planet Earth. But I don't want, I refuse to spend eternity with Him. So that's my, my, my concern. That's my, my uncertainty. What do I do? What do I do? Should I keep just reading His Word? Maybe He will talk to me and explain to me why is it that it's in my, my best interest to spend eternity with Him rather than just get lost. the answer please help me out because I'm John 12 47 I'm totally lost I'm lost I'm lost God bless you okay this is, this is Miguel from South Beach Florida bye bye